All right, welcome back everyone. Another update for you guys. So on this video, I'm gonna show you how much I made in October uh, in passive dividend income. So to give you an update here, right now the market is closed and we did drop 144 during the market and after hours, as you guys can see, it's, uh, it went up 495, not much. For the week, we are up 695. For the one month, we are up 2318. Uh, last three months, we're still down 2676. Year to date, down 6657. Not as bad as the last videos. I don't know if you guys saw those. Check those out. We were down a lot, a lot more. For the one year mark, we're still down 9630. And overall, since I started the account back in uh, late 20 or mid 2018, uh, we are up 87, 82%, which is not bad. So uh, like I said, we are doing a passive dividend income portfolio here. And let me show you my latest option I did this week. It was another AMC option. I only did one contract, small amount. Not much. Uh, the strike price is 12, which I know it's not going to hit. We made $3 and now it's worth $1. So I see it as free money, kind of like a dividend from AMC every week. So I sell it. I try to sell an option every week or two. So we keep getting free money there. So, all right. Uh, as far as my purchase, I do invest 150 or more every week in this account. So this week I added more Jeppy, if that's how you say it. So let me show you guys. So now we are at 127 shares, average cost 58.81. We are down $612, which is bad, but it's not that bad, I don't think, because it's been trending up, I think, a little bit. It dropped a little bit here. Let's see, in the past month, we are up 274 overall. Um, I'm still going to keep adding to it. Hopefully someday try to hit at least a thousand shares. So we're at uh, 127 only. So, and I'll show you guys the purchase here. So we stay transparent. Here we are. This is today. Bought three shares at $53.96 each uh, for a total of $161. So that's not bad. Uh, the price did go up after I bought it. So not bad. Wait, did it go up? Yeah. All right. So uh, to give you guys an update, I did this video is going to be more about the dividends that I that came in last month. And I'll show you how many came in and how much in um, profit we made. So in how many shares of each stock I hold. So to give you guys uh, an idea here, we're going to start at the bottom here with UGI. Don't have many shares, just two shares paid us a total of 72 cents. And just so you guys know, October is a slow month for me. Um, so just be prepared. Coca-Cola, we need to get more of these. Uh, we only have 12 shares, paid uh, $5.28. Iron Mountain, only two shares, $1.24. Uh, here's Jeppy. So I had 121 shares, paid as 50 at 18. So next month it should pay more. Jep Q, we do need to pick up some more. They have a lot of uh, tech, so tech has been down. So that's the, uh, the reason I didn't want to pick up some of this. It's I, I think it's going to drop a little bit more. So we do have eight shares, and they paid us $3.04. AGNC, 34 shares, paid us $4.08. Main Street Capital, 10 shares, $2.22. Realty Income, one of my favorites, 35 shares, paid $8.68. Uh, let's see here. We have Stag, another good one that I like. 45 shares, paid us $5.48. Store Capital, they're going to be going away at the beginning of the year. If you guys want to see that video, go a few videos back. Uh, they were bought out, so I think we're going to get bought out at 32 something per share. But this is seven shares at $2.87. Uh, PSEC paid us $6, 100 shares. Ozark. Uh, five shares, a dollar sixty-five. SPHD, twenty-seven shares, three eighty-two. Uh, ARR, ten shares, a dollar. RITM, 
six shares, $1.50. And I think this is the last one, LTC. They had 22 shares at $4.18. So it was a slow month. I made a total of $109.92. And like I said before, the goal is to break 200 bucks a month every month. We've been hitting that, but every three months we have this slow month here where some of these companies are not paying uh, that much. Or I need to build up the shares actually in these slower months. So uh, just to show you guys what's coming in next month, uh, we have QYLD falling on the 1st, which is today. These are all going to populate tonight. $51, AT&T $27, Verizon $30. So right there we have over $160, $150. Plus we have AG&C, Stag again, AbbVPane, and PSEC all set up for November. And there's going to be more November, so we're going to easily break 200 in November. So let me know what you guys think of the video. How are you investing? Are you still adding, averaging down? What are you picking up? Let me know. Let other people know. Uh, we are still picking up Microsoft. I've been adding fractions of a share. So we're at a one share 0 0.02. Total cost 234. We are down $6.30. But I like that it's down. We're going to keep adding 10, 20, 30 dollars into it. Um, that's a new one. So and then um, we're going to keep building up the portfolio. So let me know if you guys like these videos. Let me know what you're doing on your portfolio. Are you still adding more? Are you waiting for the market to drop even more? And also, we'll see what happens tomorrow with the Fed rate hike. Uh, I think it's it's expected that whatever they're going to do, they're going to raise. And um, I think it's going to help the market eventually. So I think it might be a time to buy. I'm going to keep adding for sure. So. But let me know what you guys think. I will make more videos and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Thanks.